Hey, what's up guys? It's Hunter from Show Her Off and I'm here with Miss Portia, my beautiful friend. And we are going to show you, I'm going to give you some tips in this video for the, for the fellas of how to be a strong lead. Uh, so if you saw one of the other videos with Portia, she was mentioning that one of the things that she and a lot of other ladies look at when they're out uh, at, the, at the dance bars are, is the guy a good lead? Is he a strong lead? So let me give you three tips to help her answer a yes for that question for you. So the first thing is, and you want to watch some of the other videos I have, but it's on frame. So when we are in two-step, and even when you're not in two-step, um, it's all about having a good frame, which is, it's kind of tough to, sh to explain a little bit on video because part of it is, is a feel, but you know, we're, we're going to do the best we can here. And, and so with frame, part of it is, is having, think of it, you know, like you've got a fish hook in your chest, which would be painful, but it's lifting the chest up, guys. So see how I'm kind of having my chest up. So that's, just, that's the start to a good frame. The second is when you're dancing in two-step frame with your partner, I'm keeping my chest up and I have my hand over her shoulder blade like this and I have her other arm out. Okay, so I'm not totally stretching her out, but it's, it's, it's pretty far out. It's not in like this. Okay, don't keep it in like this. This is not good frame. It's, it's squishy and it doesn't feel strong to her. When you have it up like this, it gives you better posture. I'm just gonna kind of rotate, and it makes it easier to lead, because I have my hand here so she can feel the pressure, and I've got her shoulders extended. Also, if the girl doesn't know how to dance as well, or she doesn't have good frame, you can kind of force her to have good frame by lifting your elbows up. See how I'm, I'm putting Portia's elbows up, or her one elbow here by lifting mine up. That will help, again, increase the frame and connection. So when you're dancing in two-step, you want to have this good, solid frame. That's going to give you the basis to help also look smoother. Footwork is the other part, um, but having that solid frame up top is important. The next thing, which is kind of part, part of frame, is keeping a good connection. Okay, so especially when we get into swing, this is the difference here that can separate you from, from all the other guys in the dance hall who are kind of looking really sloppy, is two things. One, don't ever let your arms come all the way out like this when you're, when you're doing swing moves because this is just a good way to get hurt and it doesn't look, doesn't look very professional and probably you don't feel very safe. No, so that's not what we do. So instead, number one, like I always really don't let my shoulder go pat, like I keep my elbow close, about three inches from my ribs, never really letting it go out further than that. Once, once we've gotten to this length, now I'm squeezing with my lats, with my back. Okay, and actually, ladies, you should be doing the same thing. So, Portia should, you know, she should never let her, her shoulder come all the way forward like this. Instead, she keeps, you know, a little bit of play here, but this, maybe this is the stopping point. And once, when I pull and she's reached the stopping point, now I'm pulling on her back and she, because she's flexing her back here versus letting me pull her arm all the way out. Okay, so that's something that, again, it's a little tricky to show, but what can really help you feel is if you have a partner and you want to practice, is squeezing your back together, like, you, like you're trying to squeeze a pencil in between the center of your back, right here, like there's a pencil there, so have your partner's hand and squeeze that, it's a little exaggerated, but that will, give you the, that will give you the sense, you'll kind of feel the connection there, and keep it squeezed the whole time, and don't let, you know, you can even do, to practice, you can just do T-Rex arms, so like keep your elbows glued, to your side. This is just practice, not a lot of dance, but keep it like this and you'll feel how much tighter, and if you keep it that way too, like can you feel how much tighter the connection? So that's like really good connection. Now that's that's T-Rex dancing, so we don't want to do that. <laughs> but the point is you can practice that with a partner because that will show you what good connection feels like. So then you say, okay, that's what I need to keep. And that's something again for guys has a strong lead. When a girl if she doesn't know, you know how to keep good connection, you can still compensate and keep good connection. Even if she's kind of all over the place, you can still stop her by squeezing that lat and pulling her in. And then also, make sure you have a good grip. Don't squeeze on her hand. Never squeeze on the girl's hand, that's not good. But also, make sure it's there. Don't be flimsy. Like, just, like, just like when you're meeting other you know, guys, you wanna have a good handshake. It's the same thing with the girls. You wanna have a, you know, a firm grip gentle grip, but she needs to know that you're there, because you're leading, okay, you're not ghosting, you're leading. So, keep a good frame, good connection, and 
part of that connection is having a good grip. And then the third tip is dance to the level that the girl uh, can dance to, and also that you can dance to as well. So when I'm, when I'm taking a girl out uh, that I haven't danced with before, like I'm not starting off doing crazy moves right up front. Instead, I'm gonna start off with just a basic two step or a basic triple step and see, and I'm like evaluating, okay, you know, does she have good frame? If she has good frame right away, then I know, okay, she's probably a dancer, so I can kind of take this path of dance moves with her, you know, because she's gonna know some more stuff. But if I, if I grab her and it's like, you know, bad frame or no frame, that's, you know, that's, it's okay, it happens. And then I know, okay, she's, she's a newer dancer, so I need to, again, really work on, you know, lifting her elbow up there and keeping a good frame and smiling and making her feel comfortable because she's somewhere in the newer stage, so it's my job, again, to just make her look good. So you dance to the level that she's at and put up, you know, we're almost kind of like a guardrail as far as, you're not trying to do crazy moves. Um, and I think you've talked about it on other videos where if you see a guy, he's trying to do something too advanced with a girl and he drops her, it just looks yeah. bad, <laughs> it's gonna discourage you from wanting to dance dance with him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So guys, hope you found that helpful. Those are a couple tips you can use to help you become a stronger lead. Make sure you click the like button down below and subscribe so these videos come right to you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.